Oh, that's just right. The sun's gone in while I just do a bit of a video call. That is the humongous tree next door. If ever we get a low, big wind, that come crashing down. But it looks nice. Anyway, so hot today. Had to put my bike under the window. Sun is so hot. Really warm. Do you like that lights up at night ever so pretty? Ah, there's my lovely conifer that I grew from a seed. What the birds dropped in the stones. It's had nine lives. A view of the blorange between the houses, the mountain. Now here's my lovely hydrangeas, they are massive, they've taken over, they are absolutely stunning, I can't believe last year they didn't flower, as David decided to decimate the ground, the, what they was in, chopped the lot down, poor things. So consequently, last year we had no flowers, but this year it's an abundance. I can't believe how high they've grown, how tall. It is spectacular. The colours, that's particularly my favourite, that one, and the deep purple. Purple, lavender, whatever you want to call it, those are still in bud. And it's chopped my tree to a funny shape, but never mind. So that's them coming out beautiful. These are called lace hydrangeas. They're more lacy, different variegations. Those are the balls that grow more like a ball, all mixed up. Clematis hasn't done very well this year. Something's got on it. I've chopped half of it away. These are the lace ones as well. So pretty. How pretty is that? And they're so healthy. And then there's my little conifer tree. That, that was grown from about a foot high. So there we go. That's down the side of the house. There's the palm tree. That is massive. Beautiful blue sky. Surrounded by trees. Beautiful. Ah, there's my garage. And that's a lovely tree of K's over the fence. K's tree is beautiful. And then you've got all the trees round there. There's the garage. Well, that's not a garage now, it's a, a den. David's den. And then we walk round the front of the house. Well, the side of the house. Down the path. This is for you, Mother. Being as you'll never be able to come and see it. So there's the garage that's now a cabin all kitted out with carpets and everything. There we go. This is the side of the house. Moving towards the front. My little old man. Sitting on his bench. All my lights. Osters are lovely, but only two flowers this year. Lonely, lonely. There's one, there's two, and none on that one. Then we come round the front. Now my acer has had to be chopped. The acer 
it's really grown. Then we'll come across to the bench and then my other little ace that I put in last year. That's doing okay. Curtains are shut because it's so hot. And then we come down to the fonts, bottom of the drive. And there's them beautiful fuchsias, the busy lizards. More fuchsias. And my fir trees are growing. And the wisteria. Beautiful. And the gardeners are next door, over the fence. Postman's here. Postman's. There's the car. Next door neighbour's front garden. So, that's the path. And here we are in the front, yeah, front door. Into the front door. Oh. Here we go. Gosh, I'm so hot. Oh. Curtain shut in the lounge. Because it's so hot. Really hot. In the bedroom. Bedroom's cool. Oh, the doors are shut. Here we go. All shut up. More drops. More drops both sides. Yep. Yippee, yippee. And. Oh. And there we go. In the sunroom. It's 40 degrees in there at the moment. 